You'll simply reincarnate on another planet in a just manner, and you can try to learn the lessons of love, peace, and harmony all over again. Hats on, yes. Hats on. Um, you mean Hathor? Oh, Aton, yes. Yes, Hathor is the same vibration as Aton, which is the Egyptian word for the sun. That's correct. I only have 10 minutes left, so I want to make sure we get through this. Why should the wrong thinking of a few be forced upon the many? All of these things are making your planet unbalanced. At times, the universe must rebalance some of the planets and solar systems. That is what is about to take place on your planet. Your planet causes unbalance in the entire solar system, so it must be balanced back into the harmony of the creation. Now, here I just want to show you the name Hatan and Latwi. These same names showed up at the beginning of the Law of One contact. If you want to be able to receive contact, the best thing to do is to read very high vibration material. This creates what they call tuning. The brown notebook is the primary tuning for the woman who channeled the Law of One. And now, as of two months ago, you can finally read it on the Internet. And I will give that link on my website very soon. The last guy we're going to talk about who channeled prophecies is George Hunt Williamson. These are some of the books that he wrote. This is the one we're going to focus on, Road in the Sky. What do you think Road in the Sky means? It's a stargate. The book was written in 1959. And here he's describing what he received from a radio telegraph device. In this case, extraterrestrial intelligence spoke to him over his telegraph. But yeah. this is not simply, gee, I wonder if it's true. This is a source saying, go into the backyard. <laughs> and guess what he saw when he went into the backyard? He actually received a boarding and went on the UFO. And they told him this was the most important message he could send to the world. In 1952, they told him this. Our planet and our entire solar system is entering the outer fringes of a great cosmic cloud. Right. The most important effects are strange weather, melting ice caps, earthquakes, Und cosmic rays. Extraterrestrials told the governments of the world what was going to happen, and they kept it secret. This is when they started to build underground bases. He said that this new energy will change every phase of our lives. Economics, religion, education, yeah. virtually everything will be influenced and for the better. And he found some very interesting passages in the Bible, which, again, we're not trying to promote Christianity here, but here we do have a 2,000-year-old written prophecy. The first one is from 1 Corinthians 15.45. The first Adam was a living soul. The last Adam is a quickening spirit. This is what the ETs have to deal with when they're trying to channel through a human being, right? The first man is from the earth. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As we have borne the image of the earth, we shall also bear the image of the heavens. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither can corruption inherit that which is perfect. <laughs> Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not sleep. We shall be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound. Now, what do you think the trumpet means? It's vibration, rising vibration. We shall be changed. The mortal must put on immortality. Okay. We look for a new heavens and a new earth, wherein there will be righteousness. A new heaven and new earth is created, and we shall not even remember the old. This is the most important part right here. There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. That's interplanetary climate change. It's telling you the solar system is going to be changing. And again, you can find this in Luke 22:25. Sorry, 21:25. Upon the earth will be the distress of nations. The sea and the waves will roar. People's hearts will fail them for fear. The powers of the heavens will shake. Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud. What do you think a cloud is? 
<laughs> when, when these things begin to happen, then look up and lift up your head, for your redemption draws near. The very first witness that Project Camelot interviewed said that he saw government documents about 2012. The ETs told our government that in 2012, they will show up whether we like it or not. There will be no more secrecy and no more fear. The Bible's been translated seven times in a row, so it may have gotten screwed up in translation. But it may very well be that the new world will be created with the help of our extraterrestrial brothers and sisters. The energy in the solar system is transforming our very souls, and our vibrations are being sped up so that we can be ready to be galactic citizens. It is a new world es ist if eine we can neue Welt, wenn wir es Thank wagen. Let's have a big hand for Ruth Huber and Bill Ryan for putting this wonderful conference together. <laughs> Thank you.